I hate theater. Well, it's so disappointing, isn't it? You know what I do when I'm sitting in a darkened theater waiting for the show to begin? I pray. Oh, dear God, please let it be a good show. And let it be short. Oh, Lord in heaven, please. Two hours is fine. Three hours is too much. And keep the actors out of the audience. God, I didn't pay good money to have the fourth wall come crashing down around my ears. I just want a story. And a few songs that will take me away. I just want to be entertained. <laughs> I mean, isn't that the point? Amen. You know, there used to be a time when people sat in darkened theaters and thought to themselves, What have George and Ira Gershwin got for us tonight? Or, Can Cole Porter pull it off again? Can you imagine? Now it's... Elton John, must we continue this charade? It used to be, sitting there in the dark, you knew that when the show began, you'd be taken to another world. A world full of color, and music, and glamour, and you thought to yourself, my god. When are they gonna bring up the lights? This is it. This is that special moment when the music starts to build and you know you're only seconds away from being transported. And the overture builds and builds to its climax and the lights dim and you settle back in your seat and as you're sitting there in the dark, think to yourself, a new Gable and Stein show. Aren't you excited? I don't want to wear this no more Play that saucy Swiss Miss no more Follow my signature no more I don't want to show up Don't try to control me 